Okay, so I was on keypicking.com the other day, and I saw an ad for Commando Lock Company, which I'd never heard of. It sounded either ridiculous or very cool. Um, so I ordered a couple of their locks. They're, they seem like normal sort of GSA, um, sort of, you know, low security locks, kind of like American or whatever. Um, but they claim to be made in the USA, and they claim to be pick resistant. And, you know, they're advertising on key picking, so, you know, they obviously aren't scared of us. So I ordered a couple, and they're pretty cheap. They're like eight bucks each, something like that. You can get a fancier shackle for a little more, but they were out of stock. So I have a really horrible track record picking things out of the box, and I expect that to continue, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Um, make sure I'm in frame. So nicely packaged. Um, and uh, there we go. So here's the first lock. I don't remember what this one is called. They have a couple different models. They're all basically the same, just slightly different aesthetic features. So... Um, it does say made in the USA. Um, uh, it even says commando lock on it. It's kind of neat. Um, there's the thing. I'd say the fit and finish is... I need to zoom out a little bit. Fit and finish is actually quite nice. It's very soft. It's got a little bit of oil on it, but that's normal. Um, the uh, you know standard sort of riveted design. Supposedly it's got like integral rivets, so there's like rivets on both sides. Um, it's got these little things that might be hard plate in there. And then there's one of the keys. Okay, that's a pretty wacky looking bidding. Looks unpleasant. And uh, let's see see what's on the inside. So we got a quarter rotation, no spring. Um, and not key, ret well, not key retaining, but there is a, oh, look at the light. There is a ball bearing in there, and we're going to presume there's one on the other side, but we don't know yet. Um, the grooves on the shackle are not terribly deep, so who knows? Um, I wonder. Okay, so it definitely is probably shimproof because I can't get this thing back into position now. So I can take the key out, but I'm not going to be able to relock it without releasing the ball. So it's probably shim resistant in that respect. Um, now I'll get the key out, set that down, and uh, zoom back in. Um, so, while I have it out, let's just do a little quick hardness test. So, that's the tip of my knife. It's not really scratching that at all. And then on the bottom, well that put a pretty serious scratch in it. So, the steel in the shackle looks like it's probably quite strong. Um, how about this little... It looks like it's trying to be a drill resistant piece. That knife is scoring that pretty aggressively too, so I don't know how drill resistant that would be. Um, but the important thing is, because this is a supposedly a picking video, um, the important thing is going to be whether I can open it before my battery runs out. Um, so I think I would like that wider one. Looks like a pretty much a master lock keyway. Now I'm not getting any play in the plug, which likely means that it's not completely full of spools, and I can see the front pin is not serrated. So, um, but I do know it has that crazy bidding. So we'll just sort of fiddle around in here and see if it either opens or false sets. Let's see what happens. with the key. Okay, that's a false set for sure. Okay. I think I'm going to need something with a little more reach. Either I'm overset or this tensor is not doing its job. Let's check. Okay, it was definitely most of the way there. 
So let's give that another little, little break and see, see what he does. Okay, there's, there it is in false. Let's get something maybe a little pointier to get up in there, see what's going on. See if one of those back pins, oh yeah. We get some counter rotation on one of those. We'll have to find him again. Yeah, follow the counter rotation. feedback but so these are not these do not feel like your typical spools um, not sure what they are back and false Every pin is locked up. Set. Give another go. Will my Uber tension pinch fit it? Of course not. Peterson Pregar. Hopefully for the win. Let's see. There it is, picked open. So maybe I was oversetting and not false setting. Um, so against Abus or American or even some of the better master locks, I hate to say, with the one the professional series that have the the, um, the security pins, I would say this is no better and possibly. Um, possibly worse, but I've got one or two more to fiddle with and maybe I'll film those and we'll see if uh, maybe one of those is better. So anyway, uh, Commando Lock Company. It's a decent lock. I'd say, you know, for an $8 lock, it's not bad. Um, certainly better than the Chinese crap and is made in the United States. So, um, you know, probably not a bad buy. But uh, I don't know about uh, military grade padlock systems. Um, not the US military, I hope. <laughs> anyway, this is Alex. Um, have fun, keep it legal. Cheers.